Hi, it's Crafty Tinas, and today we're going to talk about the refills. Um, if you see my other videos, you know I don't use the refills for the puffy sticker or the shaker because I can't find them and they're very pricey. Now, in my other videos, I've shown you how to take double-sided adhesive, use your die cut to cut it. In this video, I'm going to talk to you more about using a cutting machine to cut your image. And the reason why it works better is because it will be more like the refills. The refills themselves come with a circle cut out of the top paper with a little slit in the side to make it easier to peel. Now the reason they do this is so that you can take off the center, add your foam, and the remaining stays unexposed. When I do my refills, I'm having to expose the entire surface, put this in the center, and then I have to use mine right away. I can't make these up ahead of time. So what I've done is I've imported this image into my Silhouette Cameo to the Silhouette Studio software. <coughs> and I've made what used to be called a kiss cut. I don't know what it's called now. I guess it's a sticker cut to where you're just taking off the paper. So I've added, after I imported my image, I added a 35 millimeter circle and a small line from the circle to the outer edge. So I'm telling the machine to kiss cut the circle and the line and then cut out the entire double sided adhesive. I did cut by color on my silhouette. I haven't used the program in a while so I'm trying to get back into it. All you need to do is cut the circle and the slit using a lot less pressure and a lot less blade exposure cut this first and then cut out the image. If you're doing a whole sheet of them, which I recommend, make sure that you do the kiss cut first for the whole sheet and then do the cutout because you don't want these coming out while the machine's trying to cut everything. So you want the final cut to be the outer edge and be last. Now, let's see how much better this is. Before, my entire surface was adhesive for my little foam. And this is three millimeter thick by 35 wide. Now with my new refill, it is exactly like the refill that I purchase. It has the cutouts. So now I can remove the center circle, place my foam, and this way I actually know where my foam needs to go. Now I have the exact same thing as the refill. It's ready to go, I simply need to use the slit and remove the outer edge. And that's how you can improve on making your own refills by using a Silhouette Cameo to kiss cut the top of your double-sided adhesive. Thanks for watching, make sure you like and subscribe to come back for more.